Hey, cool. Doc. Hey. How are we doing? What are we doing? What are we up to today? What we are doing is screen washing. We collect, we collect bones. Sometimes there's little tiny fossils we don't see with the rock around the bones. So we collect that rock and we break it down in buckets with water and then we screen wash it through screens, like sieving it, to get out the tiny, tiny fossils. So right now the kids are basically taking the matrix, putting in the screen boxes, agitating it in water, try to get the stuff to fall through the screens and whatever's left over we'll pick under a microscope to find these tiny, tiny fossils you can't see with the naked eye. Wow, how long will this process take? This is the easy part. Screen washing doesn't take that long, a few hours, but when you start to look at the matrix under the microscope, sand grain by sand grain, looking for tiny fossils, takes a long, long time. Sure. It takes hundreds of hours. Sure. Explain where these soil uh, samples came from. These are from a Miocene, 15 million year old site up by Kalinga, where they built a big power line, and where they were putting in one of the top power line towers, they hit this bone bed. So uh, this company basically collected a lot of fossils there, but kept the matrix. And they, we got the possession of the matrix, and so we're processing it. Impressive. So it's uh, it's an important fauna that's never been studied before. Great. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Hi, Andy. How are you? Just fine. Great. So what are we doing today here in the museum? So what we're doing is working on the organization of the specimens within our collection. So the specimens, the fossil specimens that we have here at the museum are a lot like the books in a library. Mm. And to be able to find the specimens, just the, uh, whether you're a researcher or a student, uh, we, or we organize them uh, just like their books so that every single uh, example has a number and then they're sorted uh, by their age as well as by the kind of fossil that they are. So for for example, all these fossils that are in this drawer are from a specific site, mm. and then each fossil, uh, when it is entered into our computerized database, gets a unique number um, that, in that allows us to keep track of what the specimen is. Great. Great. And so you have Michelle and Christina behind you, mm -hmm. and yeah. they are doing uh, some organization for you, correct? Yep. They're going through and uh, double-checking to make sure that everything is sorted correctly, organized uh, properly by locality, so that when someone wants to go find a fossil, they can go just right to it. Fantastic. All right. Well, thank you very much. All right. Thanks. Great.